What is up you guys? I hope you all are having a great day. You're probably asking, why the heck am I on crutches? So about a week ago, I had a little bit of an accident here in the garage. I was working on one of my bikes. Yes, the one that you guys have not seen yet. I'm getting tired of saying that. I know you guys are probably getting tired of hearing it, but I'm waiting on another part to get here. Hopefully the weather will cooperate and we'll be able to finish this video and I'll get it out to you guys. But let's get back to the story. So I was sitting on the floor looking at the bike. It was on its stand. I went around to grab a tool and by the time I looked back, it was too late. The bike fell on me. The peg dug right into my calf. And it all happened so fast, by the time that I realized what just happened, I couldn't move my leg. I was able to get the bike back up on the stand with the remaining amount of adrenaline that I had. And then I was able to hop on one leg all the way to the house where I kind of just laid on the couch for a couple hours and elevated it iced it, all that good stuff. Now here I am about five or six days later. It's a little bit better. I still can't put full weight on it. I can kind of hobble around a bit, but it's still hurting pretty bad guys. And that's the reason for the lack of content lately. So bear with me, we're healing up. Things will be back to normal soon. I got a lot of good content planned this weekend actually. I think we're gonna be adding a new addition to the fleet. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And while you're at it, go ahead and drop a comment down below on what you think I'm getting. I will give you a hint. It's not street legal and you have to mix yeah, so I'll leave you guys with that. Well guys, since I'm gonna be off the bikes for a while, I figured I'd do some garage videos. So you guys already saw the title. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to check and adjust your valves if need be. I'm gonna be using the Grom today, but this pretty much applies to any motorcycles that have valves. So let's get right into it. So to get this job done, you're gonna need a socket set, a pair of Allen wrenches, feeler gauges obviously, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Now I might be missing something, but I'll be sure to show you guys along the way. First things first, I'm going to go ahead and take off the spark plug using a 3-8 socket. It's a lot easier to find top dead center when the motor doesn't have any compression. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see the white on the end of the spark plug, but my bike is definitely running lean. That was probably caused by my aftermarket exhaust that I just put on there, but bikes typically come lean from the factory, so if that's something you're worried about, go ahead and get a fuel programmer. All right, next I'm going to take these inspection covers off. The first one I'm going to use a 10 millimeter Allen wrench breaks loose pretty easy. The top one is a six millimeter. So now you're gonna wanna grab your socket wrench and a 17 millimeter socket, slap it on this flywheel nut and you can see the sight window right here. You wanna rotate it until you get the T lined up with the little notch on top. Now just like that, we found top dead center and you see the notch there is aligned with the notch on the threads. It may not look perfect just because of the angle that I'm shooting at, but I assure you that we are at top dead center. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the intake side first. Go ahead and use an eight millimeter wrench to take the cover off. All right guys, the valve should have a little bit of play in it. If it doesn't, you're probably on the wrong stroke. So go ahead and rotate the flywheel 360 degrees and try again. I was unable to get my feeler gauge underneath the tappet regardless. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it. To start off, you need to loosen that nine millimeter lock nut. All right, so now's where the needle nose pliers come in. Now there's an actual tool for this, but for the amount of times that you do this, you might as well just use a pair of pliers. All right, so I loosened it up a bit just so I could get my feeler gauge in there. I tightened it down on it just a little bit. It should just feel like the resistance that a magnet would give you. I'm gonna be able to show you guys a lot better on the exhaust side because it's really tight in here. But now that I have it where I want it, I'm just gonna go ahead and tighten that lock nut down, put the cover back on, then we're good to go. All right guys, so I got the intake side all finished up. You're gonna be able to see the exhaust side a lot better. On a side note, that oil still looks pretty good. All right, so I'll put the spec on the screen now of what you should adjust it to. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get it in there without loosening it. All right, so the answer is no. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this lock nut. Loosen the tappet. All right, so now I should definitely be able to get that feeler gauge in there. So that's a little bit loose. It's kind of hard to tell because I got oil on my feeler gauge, so I'm gonna tighten it up a little bit. That's way too tight. 
All right, so now that I think I got it where I want it, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up this lock nut. You don't wanna tighten it too much, but make sure it's very snug. So that's that, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cover back on, and then we'll wrap up this video. probably asking is that it yep we're all done guys it is that simple hopefully this video gives you the confidence to tackle this job yourself stay away from the stealer ship and save some of your hard-earned money go lay down no <laughs> what do you say thank you appreciate it you just wanted to be in the video didn't you yep I'll say hi to the camera you gotta look at the camera it's right there look at the camera that's ah, close enough. Get out of here. Overall, it's a simple process that really only requires one specialty tool, that being the feeler gauges. If you don't already have a set, I'll leave a pair of link down in the description below. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can let me know by leaving a comment down below. I have a bunch of awesome videos and content planned for this summer, so if you're not already, make sure you're subscribed down below. If you made it this far in the video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like I said, I have some stuff planned this weekend, so until then, I'll see you in the next one.